Welcome back you just to. Shut that goddamn door. I'm not doing it. It's right there. I'm not doing it. I know, God. He's a I'm, I'm, he's a rebel with a cause. I'm not doing it. I'm just being a contrarian prick. It's the second time you've been called a prick today. Yeah, actually, it is. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. <laughs> this is Keith. I'm the prick. <laughs> According to popular opinion today. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into it. I'm the bourbon guy. I'm Dustin. Uh, and we got a bribe. We got a good bribe. We got a good bribe. See, we've had this before. Yes, but Steve likes us. He, he, wants, he wants the bourbon distribution to be equitable. And that we appreciate that. I can't complain. No, so, so Steve, this is specifically Dustin's bottle of Garrison Brothers Honeydew, which the first time we had it, go ahead. I was shocked that I liked it. Yeah, why? Because this is an infused bourbon. Yep. It's a honey infused bourbon. Right. It is literally the only infused bourbon I have ever had that I like. That you actually enjoyed here. Chew on that. It's leather. And crayons. Mm-hmm. It's effectively a snack for you. Is it leather? Ooh, ooh doesn't taste like leather. That's a great pop, though. It doesn't taste like leather? <laughs> Leather's kind of salty. Oh, my God. What if it's not been, like, cured? It's still salty. I think all leather has to be cured. So this is, uh, like I said, honeydew. It's an 80 proof. We'll I get into pick my own nose. That's weird. Why are you being fucking weird? You haven't even drank that much yet. I don't know. This is him not drunk. You should see him fucking drunk. He's like, there's two of you. I don't know which one to talk to. (laughs) That happened. It did. (laughs) He's like, I think I need to go home or lay down. (laughs) I was too drunk to Uber, man. That was a bad scene. (laughs) Well, you definitely didn't drive, so that's... Uh, No. No. You did Uber. Eventually. <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> You're like, this button keeps moving. <laughs> Damn it. So what song are we listening to for Steve? So not only do we have an awesome song, or Bourbon. an awesome Bur- uh, bourbon, wow. we have, it's the leather, it got me all discombobulated. Shit. Wow. Look at that color. Wait, man, don't, don't be insinuating to these people that I'm turned on by leather. They'll... <laughs> Try to put me in a gimp suit, man. Ball gag and shit. I didn't <laughs> need the visual. And you just fucking made it worse. God. You're welcome. You're making a lot of them excited, though. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forget I said that. Rewind. <laughs> and, and, and anyway. We got a good bourbon. We've got a good bourbon, and we have one hell of an artist. Now, I have not heard this song. This has not been on the channel yet, right? It has not been on the, the channel, but I, I know Jerry Reed. I don't. Dude's up there with, like, Roy Clark and uh, Chet Atkins and just these amazing uh, folk and country guitar players. Um, he is a beast on guitar so uh steven is exposing us or exposing me at least to a new song from an artist that i know is just amazing thank you steven yeah so good job steve all right let's let's, roll tape yeah let's get going on We probably should have talked about the title of the song. That's a good idea. She got the gold mine, I got the shaft. So let's back it up. Does this remind you of that one song we did not too long ago? I don't. We don't know how they're going to drop, but we recorded the song, um, the boogie one, by Hank Jr. Yeah. No. Listen to it. No, it doesn't have that. Doom, 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 but it's got the. Yeah. Okay. Back in 63, when eating my cooking got the better of me, so I asked this little girl I was going with to be my wife. 
Well, she said she would, so I said I do. But I'd have said I wouldn't if I'd have just knew how saying I do was gonna screw up all of my life. Well, the first few years weren't all that bad. I'll never forget the good times we had, cause I'm reminded every month when I said to the child support. Well, it wasn't too long till the lust all died, and I'll admit I wasn't too surprised. Today I come home and found my suitcase sitting out on the porch. Well, I tried to get in, she changed the lock. Then I found this note taped on the mailbox that said, Goodbye, Tucky, my attorney will be in touch. So I decided right then and there, I was gonna do what's right, give her her fair share. But brother, I didn't know her share was gonna be that much. She got the gold mine, I got the, gold I got the share. I got the share. They split it right down the middle, and then they give her the better half. Well, it all sounds sort of funny, but it hurts too much to laugh. She got the gold mine, I got the share. Accurate. Now listen, you ain't heard nothing yet. Why well, they give her the color television set, then they give her the house, the kids, and both of the cars. See? Well, then they start talking about child support, alimony, and the cost of the court. Didn't take me long to figure out how far in the toilet I was. I'm telling you, they have made a mistake, cause it adds up to more than this cowboy makes. Besides, everything I've ever had worth taking, they've already took. While she's living like a queen on alimony, I'm working two shifts, eat baloney. Asking myself, why didn't you just learn how to cook? They give her the gold she mine. The gold they give me the share. The share. They said they're splitting it all down the middle. But she got the better half. But it all sounds mighty funny. But it hurts too much to laugh. She got the gold mine. I got the share. What is that? It's a guitar. Is that him? Well, she got the gold mine. I got the share. They split it all down the middle. And then they give her the better half. Well, I guess it all sounds funny. But it hurts too much to laugh. She got the gold mine. I got the share. Hey, get it. I got the share. Well, I don't have to worry about towing the bill for anymore. <laughs> I let my wife tow it. I'm gonna be carrying food stamps. You get it, Judge? I'm gonna be. That's not funny, huh? So, that was the best musicianship I've heard in a funny song so far. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times the funny songs, they, and I promise you with Jerry Reed, this is toned way, way down. That part where you asked me what that instrument was, he was just flying on the scales, low on, like high on the neck on the lower strings, just just ripping through that fast. Dude, dude is a speed demon. Okay. Yeah. He so. can melt your brain. Yeah, he, he 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 can play some face melting scales and arpeggios and stuff. He's crazy fast. Okay. So, um, funny song, pretty accurate description of most divorces I'm aware of. <laughs> so. Who was I talking to? There's somebody I was talking to. They were telling me about their dad had been divorced four times. So, my buddy, I think I've mentioned him on the channel before. His divorce was so acrimonious that it went to the Supreme Court. <laughs> so, yeah. It was a. I don't think he watches this channel, but it was you two lawyers send, getting send him this. Oh. two lawyers getting divorced, and it wound up going to the state Supreme Court. Um, and many years later, he found a wonderful woman. They've been together for a very long time. She's starting to throw some of that marriage pressure at him, like at a table at dinner, Oops. right? She and uh, I think, he, no, she's fully aware of how bad that scene was. And uh, he said the funniest damn thing. He says, you know, if you really want to get married, why don't I just buy you a house and we'll cut to the chase? <laughs> I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> shut that line of discussion down pretty quick. A few little awkward movements at the table. <laughs> but God, I was laughing. That's a that's a straight fucking vapor lock. Like <laughs> everybody at the table vapor locked, but me, I'm like <laughs> Because I'm a horrible person, yes. We know this. Yeah. We know this. You get it. Yeah, so so that happened. <laughs> well, the guy I was talking about that got divorced four times. Yeah. Like, so my buddy was like, yeah, so first time he lost half. Then the second time he lost half a half. So he's down to and a the quarter. the third time he lost a third of a, wait. A half of a half of a half, so right. he's down to an eighth. Right. And then he got divorced again. So he's like negative half now at this point. Well, he's down to a one thirty or one sixteenth of what he used to have. Yeah, I can do fractions. Did I can you? do my gazendas too. Goes into one. One goes into one one time. One goes into two two times. One goes into three three times. Yeah, I learned them from Jethro. Right. Because you were watching Ellie May. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie. Of course. Don't lie. So I love summer. So, um, yeah, this is some good shit. This is good stuff. Like, what's really good about this? You know, that's, have you ever had Jack honey? Yep. Hate it. Why? Too much honey flavor. It's well. And it's too sweet. So it was that last word that you said. Flavor. Filet, honey flavor. I think they add, they add like sugar to it, right? There, there's no sugar mm. added. Well, technically, honey is a sugar. Right. There's straight honey added to this, though, and and it just tastes glorious. It's if you're going to look for a honey infused bourbon, this hands down is, as far as I know, the best out there. Well, hold on. Honey infused, accurate. There's another bourbon that. I think could be potentially called honey infused, but they don't call it that. They call it aged in honey barrels. Whose was that? I remember Starlight. that. Starlight. Yes. Oh, it's that so good. Shit is good. So good. It will. It's got a yellow label. It says Starlight. If you see that, jump on it, dude. It will be gone if you don't. I promise, because it's that good. But I mean, I, I put this right up next to it. Yeah. Yeah. I. You know what? My. So I'm. I'm drinking this way too fast because it's just that damn good i'm well, gonna finish it well hold on before you finish it <laughs> so i love the taste of it but i really love that nose that nose is just like unadulterated honey yeah it's you you can definitely smell the honey and taste it and enjoy it so like we said steve sent us this a uh, couple quick things Garrison Brothers Honeydew, award-winning small batch bourbon with a delicate honey finish. That's the delicate honey finish is actually accurate. I think. Oh shit. What? Oh shit. I just found something for Andrea. What's that? Oh, a mixed drink recipe for this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to try that. For those of you who can't read it on the channel, I feel like something is like, you got bugs in your house? What's going on? <laughs> Cats kill those, dude. Yeah, I know. So, 1.5 ounces of honeydew bourbon, this stuff. Okay. Uh, half ounce of fresh lemon juice. Okay. Half ounce of lavender syrup. I don't know where the hell we're going to find that. Okay. Andrea has her ways. And two dashes of orange bitters. They call it Busy Little Bees. It sounds delicious. It actually sounds quite good. So you want to combine all the ingredients in a shaking tin over ice. Shake vigorously. Duh. And strain into a chilled coupe glass. I don't know what that is, but I promise Andrea does. Garnish with a lavender sprig and a bit of honey. All right. I might skip the bit of honey. Yeah. Because this has got honey flavor. Yeah. But. Don't want to add more. No. It's that. So, Andrea, you have homework. <laughs> Sorry. She'll make it, too. It'll I probably be amazing. Well, she did you ever hear about that peanut butter drink that she made? 
I heard it was quite the hit, but I won't drink it. Right. He's a, he doesn't like peanut butter. I like peanuts. Can't stand peanut butter. Isn't that weird? Anyway, uh, she made a peanut butter whip. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy good. But anyway, back to this stuff. Steven, thank you again. Thank you. Great song. Funny. Yeah. Good musicianship, honestly. Uh, I think we're going to get more Jerry Reed. Actually, I'm, you've seen the request for it. Um, so eventually we're going to get to more Jerry Reed. And uh, hopefully they'll request and or bribe us uh, with something that really shows off his playing ability. Because the guy's a master. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe drop down in the comments tell us what songs we need to listen to tell us what North American whiskeys we need to check out nom nom yeah and if you'd like to propel your song to the front be similar to Steven <laughs> there's a reason we say similar okay. uh, be similar to Steven and uh, send us a, a bottle of whiskey to check out and make sure we actually, at the time of this, hopefully by the time this video drops, we'll have it sorted out. But as of right now, we have two bottles. We They had no notes. No they name. They had no name. And y'all haven't put it in the comments. We don't know who they came from. Uh, so what we're trying to do is, is, so if you're still watching this video and you sent us a bottle and you haven't seen your video yet, uh, get in the comments and tell us what you sent us. You can do that, or I put a post up. You can comment there. You can comment on the post, and it'll be, it'll probably be a little bit quicker for us to see it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know what you sent us and what song you want. Yeah, that's how we're going to validate it. You by what bottle you sent. All right. That is sitting back there waiting. Yeah. So yeah. Hey, till next time, guys. See you.